What's up, everybody? It is your boy Skywalker OG coming at you with another Rise of Kingdoms video today. First off, let me get to saying I'm sorry again. I know I keep apologizing for not making videos, guys, but I'm definitely going to get back on top of it. It has been a grind and a struggle trying to get this alliance and everything ready for KVK. Um, yeah, but anyways, so right now we have an amazing update coming for us on December 10th. On December 10th, we will have the update that will give us two weeks after we will have the new Christmas event. We'll have a Christmas tree to decorate. We'll have a puzzle event. We'll have a we'll have the capability to be able to send gifts to one another. We'll have the thieves again. Um, and that's pretty much it for the Christmas event. Now, obviously, we'll get a <coughs> we'll get a um. We're going to get like a uh, packs and stuff like that for this event as well. We'll get bundles and things like that. So prepare for that. Get out of here. Um, let's see. We'll have the New Year's event three weeks after the update. We'll have the light up the night. You'll be able to collect fireworks. Uh, the firework display set out the fireworks. Going great rewards. Bankrupt the boutique. That's whenever the mysterious merchant comes in, you buy something from them, and then it gives you another deal and a discount on something else. Um, you'll have the race against time. Kill barbarians as fast as you can. Strike fear into their hearts. So basically, you're going to have a trial, a time trial that you're going to be killing barbarians in. Now, we're trying to keep this video under 10 minutes, so I didn't really want to go into too much detail on the events. I will whenever they come out, or as I have more information on them. Now... Let's go ahead and get into these amazing updates that's coming in. For one, Lilith has actually listened to some feedback, and they have allowed the players with 35 million power and less to basically, it's going to be cheaper for them to migrate. So basically, all the free-to-play are going to have a cheaper migrating system. I think that is very fair. Obviously, we can't make it free. That's, that's not, it's not really fair to the people that do spend money if you made it free. For the free to play to migrate, that would be really, really unfair. Um, but lowering it is very, very much needed. I think it is a ridiculous amount of um, passports to move for how much they cost. Now, as well as that, from now on, the passports cost for credits in your Alliance shop went from 800,000 to 600,000, so it's 200k credits cheaper. That's also nice. That's cool, but what's really getting me excited is a kingdom's power is now calculated from the combined power of the top 300 governors instead of the top 100. That is going to be a very, very, very big difference because in kingdoms like mine, where we are, or ours, where we are very top-heavy in the top 100, but not too strong in the bottom, in the 200, I would say, we're not really that strong. Um, kingdoms like that, like us, we should fall out of Imperium, which will give us, um, some room to be able to grab more players and let more people play with us. That is something that I'm definitely looking forward to. I'm super, super excited about that. I'm very glad that Lilith is finally adjusting the system. It needed to be adjusted for a while, but I'm very disappointed for some reason that ever since I got that mail, my game has been super, super buggy. Um... And, I mean, that might be my internet. I'm, I'm not even sure, honestly. But, anyway, so I can't show you the top 100. I wanted to to show you that we were just top heavy in the top 100, and then we fall off after that, which isn't bad. That's majority of the kingdoms, but that's really bad when you're trying to fight Imperium Kingdoms. So, that's awesome that they adjusted that. Um, an awesome new, and also an awesome new feature that they made is the king. Once a month, he can choose a player that's more than 25 million power. So basically any player he wants and bring him into the kingdom. So essentially six times a year because obviously I don't think they're going to unlock uh, migrations during KVK. So I'm going to say that they probably won't let you migrate in KVK like it is now. So with those months taken out, I would say you probably get six or seven players a year, six or seven times a year that you'll be able to have a player migrate into your kingdom if you are an Imperium kingdom. <clears throat> so that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. 
the other changes are like on the arc of osiris now you don't really have to type on the arc you can type on the icon to be able to click the arc so if people are swarming and just surrounded on the arc you can still click it um so that's awesome and the event panel similar types of events will now be automatically sorted together under settings governors can now choose to display or hide their name when sending alliance gifts so that's that's a nice feature i know a few people wanted to hide their name they don't want people knowing when they're buying packs or whatever um that's cool i mean i guess if you don't want people knowing i don't see why you wouldn't or why you would care but it is what it is um the really the one major thing that's really got me stoked besides the migration is this one here julius caesar Mahmed the second and frederick the first are now added to the daily special offers so we have sal sal charles el cid and then i'm not sure on the order but if it's an order here it'll be julius Mahmed, and then frederick I'm disappointed that Frederick would be at the end. I hope he's not. I hope he's after El Cid because Frederick is the most powerful, underrated commander there is. He is so underrated, it's not even funny, but the man brings some versatility and a lot of punch to the battlefield. He is awesome. I actually really, really, really like Frederick and would love to max him out. With that said, I'm going to finish buying out my daily bundles so I can go ahead and get my El Cid maxed and go ahead and work on these guys. So that's awesome that they give us a little bit more now in the dailies because I personally think that is the quickest way to max out commanders is through the dailies. Um, governors can now buy even better the hammer and anvil bundles, which I don't ever buy them anyways. Revamped all attack sounds and troops, which is whatever. It's just a new soundboard. Whatever. That's cool. The biggest thing here we need to take away is migration, guys. Migration is going to be cheaper for the free-to-play, and it's going to be the top 300 based, not the top 100 based. So it's going to make Imperium Kingdoms a lot more leveled out, in my opinion, and make KVKs a lot, a lot more, um, more interesting and fun. Because you're not going to have all these stacked-up kingdoms going against each other. Um... They're gonna be, they're gonna be, you know, pretty much the same power, the same strength fighting each other. So, that's really good. That's really good. But anyways, until next time, guys. That's your boy Skywalker OG saying peace out. I hope you have a great time, and I hope you have an amazing holiday. And enjoy it, guys. Until next time.